Welcome to Rivernet Studio Session. It was a long time ago we done one, uh, so I can't remember. Let us know if you <laughs> know. Um, yeah. I'll put it in the thing. It'll be here or here. I can't work out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, welcome back. It's been a long, long time since we've done one of these, but um, some of you have been telling us how much you enjoyed them, so we thought we'd come back. Yeah, and start them off semi-regular or, you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll try, we'll see. We'll try, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, well, uh, we've got a fair bit of news to share, so um, I guess we can get on with that. Yeah. So what have we been up to? Well, you have been developing our new website. Yeah, since... um, so what's the date today? Is it the, the 19th of October? And mm. I, it was meant to be my summer project. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, you finally finished. Well, it's finished and it's it, very good. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I basically have rebuilt the Rivenitz website from the ground up um, and it launched yesterday. Um, it's not major hiccups. <laughs> no. no, not really. No. No. Uh, so it'd be great if you go and have a look. Um, if it's broken in any way, please get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it should be quicker. And also, I think like functionally, it should be a lot better. There are better options for searching. Um, so like you can filter yarn by colour and fun stuff like that. So you couldn't do that before. Yeah. So mm. new website. Yeah. And uh, what have we held off from launching because oh, of the, yeah. we were waiting. We we're like, I'm not going to put that on the old website. Yeah. I'll do it on the new. It's going to be launched soon. And yeah. now it's October. <laughs> <laughs> well, we launched it at Yarn Day. We took it because we didn't need a website for this, did we? Like... Yeah. But yeah, but it's um, our new Nen Decay. And actually, this beautiful yarn is custom spun for us. Um, yeah. And, so uh, you might, you may remember or you might have noticed that Nen Decay has been out of stock for many, many months. And it's finally back. Um, but it's because we had to, it took a long time because we had to go to a mill uh, to ask them to spin it for us because... We're quite particular about how we want our yarn, and it's and it turned out beautifully. Yeah, it? It's, it is really gorgeous. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, obviously, we're biased. Yeah, very biased. But uh, it's really plump and bouncy, which is exactly what you want from a double knit. Um, it's blue face Leicester, uh, non super wash, same as before. Uh, but yeah, it's just. It's got you can a see lovely the colour transition it. better in there. I mean, mm. look at this here. You can see nice. I haven't oh. got any samples in this yet to show you. So, um, watch this space. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's on the website. Uh, so we took it to Yarndale. There's a few colours sold out. Um, so we will be adding a few more um, over the next few weeks. Hopefully, we'll remember to mention that but we might not <laughs> we're spectacularly bad at remembering these things but yeah, yeah. so nen dk is back and thank goodness because it's really um it's cozy yeah. crafting so that's season the now right isn't it thing and right timing for the knitting season yeah. yeah so that's another thing we've been up to oh yeah we organized an event didn't we? we've been planning a new event um i think being the resident german you ought to say the name of it so yeah we we will um when is it on the 26th of november yes <laughs> on the sunday we are going to do like a winter woolly market mm -hmm. called stollen and wolle so i reckon most people know what stollen is hope so. But if they don't, do you want to explain it? Well, it's like a kind of like... Cake. Cake with <laughs> um, lots of things in it and sugar and it tastes really yummy. The main feature of Stollen is the marzipan. In the, the marzipan middle. inside, yes. Yeah, so it's a traditional German um, 
cake, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not just... Dry cake, just, dry cake. Yeah, it's not yeah. just stolen, but, no. you know, the, the general idea of, like, festive uh, fair for that mm -hmm. time of year. There will also be drink. Yeah, we will do some glue wine, mm -hmm. so, like, so, mulled wine. Yep. Yeah. There and will be non-alcoholic yeah. uh, drinks available We will probably do, like, well. an apple cinnamon punch or something. Not punch. Punch? <laughs> no, not punch. <laughs> How you say it? Well, like a hot spiced apple or yeah, that's something, what it is. something like that. So there was no alcohol. Yeah. Oh, okay. And and we can have, you know, like teas and coffees and all yeah, the normal yeah, yeah, kind of stuff. Do, yeah. But yeah, but Water. there will be glue vine. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. I will make yeah. sure of that. <laughs> you always make sure there's yeah. glue vine <laughs> in the winter, don't you? So yeah. um but also the other uh, half of the name, so it's Stollen and Wolle. Um, you've probably guessed by now, if you don't know already, that Wolle is German for wool. Uh, so it is a a yarn show, um, much like our open day. And uh, so we've got some of our favourite yarnies and other um, fellow artisans and crafts. Yeah. And there are women and new people as well. We've got some new yeah. faces coming. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I haven't put the exhibitors up on the website, um, but I will very soon. Uh, but you can. I can show you this. Look. Oh, yeah. Um, you can get online and book tickets already. So. 26th of November, Sunday. From 10 till 4. Yeah. In our studio. So you know what that means. We have to tidy up again. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it would be quite fun to talk about what projects we've been working on. No, I have to be very honest, I haven't done a lot of knitting, but I'm, I'm doing it again. And um, so I just get my... Well, well? I mean... Yeah, you didn't do much over the summer, but yeah. neither of us did. No, no, no. I mean, how do you, what do you do over the summer? Are you a, a crafter like all year round or do you have a bit of a break during the summer? Because I find that I, I probably shouldn't admit this as like a yarny, <laughs> but I massively go off of it in the summer. I think mostly it's because it's hot and it's just uncomfortable to be handling you know, yeah. warm wool in my hands. Um, but also I s like do other things in the summer times and yeah. um, I just, I don't keep up the like consistent levels of crafting all year round. I'd be really interested to hear yeah, in the comments. Everybody's different, isn't they? Like, yeah, yeah, no, I'd re just really be interested to hear in the comments um, whether you craft consistently all mm. year round or if mm. it's more of a seasonal thing for you. But yeah, so like you didn't do much, but you're back on it now. But I'm you? back on it. I'm doing still Brin's jumper, his winter jumper, and it's not winter yet. <laughs> not quite. So I'm on the second sleeve, but I finished the sleeve already. But I realised I did the wrong needle size, so I had to rip it back. Yeah, you had one. You've got one normal sleeve. Yeah. Tada! And the other one was and a bit smaller. It was. Tight, so. It was a very skinny sleeve. The other yeah. one. Do you want to say what the pattern is? Uh, if I would know what it is. Um... Is it is it the Gramps cardigan yeah. by Tin Can Knits? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a lovely pattern. Yeah, yeah, I knitted you... once before for Brim when he was like three years old, so that is second. Obviously, he's outgrown that. Yeah, so, and um, yeah, I just have to do the sleeve, a bit ribbing, and then the button bunch, and I have to get some buttons. And, hmm. then... and do, you, um, do you want to say what the yarn is? It's alpaca something. I think it's a wool and alpaca. Yeah, I think uh, it's Blueface Leicester mixed with alpaca. Yeah, and it's from um, by Laxton's. Uh, so Laxton's have their own hand knitting range. And um, you actually got this at Yarndale last year, didn't you? Yeah, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah but, but Bryn didn't like the colour. No, Sorry, it was Laxton's. a kind of like a um, kind of like a soft pink yeah like maybe a rose sort of color yeah. um but they were they had it on sale so you you picked it up really cheap and the yeah. yarn is absolutely gorgeous and then Bryn wanted this color and he did he dye it himself well me with and us Bryn, you, you. Bryn and i dyed it yeah um so we just over dyed it with um blue 
and mm. it's now a sort of it's a it's still blue but it's leaning towards violet because it's um because it's got that pink undertone and mm. i wonder if if i are you showing that and i'm knitting the sleeve <laughs> <laughs> move with me move with me it's not perfectly solid so there's Oh, you probably are not going to be able no, to see it's this, like but too you, yeah, it, it, in person, it's got these lovely sort of shifting tones where it looks more purple and then blue. Mm. Uh, Bryn's favourite colour is purple, so he's um, quite looking forward to yeah. getting that, isn't he? I could ask now, so yeah. I better get on with it. That's why I'm knitting. Sorry, I'm getting on. <laughs> what? And what have you been up to, knit wise? So I've got two projects on the go at the moment. The f first one, I can't tell you about because it's secret. Yep. Because our, in our family, we do a crafty secret Santa, uh, which is really lovely because all of us are quite crafty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, some yarn crafters, some other talents and skills within the family. Um, and yes, so I have started my secret Santa, um, but I obviously I can't show you in case the family member in question watches this video. <laughs> so, but when it's after Christmas, I'll show I'll show yeah, it off and definitely. I'll talk about that. So yeah, but um, my other project on the go is a jumper, and it's a it's um it's also a design in progress. Mm -hmm. So here it is. So it's a circular yoke um, with this mosaic stitch pattern. Um, and over the summer or before the summer, I did some classes with Natalie Warner mm -hmm. on pattern drafting. And I really wanted to learn more about how to fit garments well um so i've applied some of what i learned to this mm -hmm. yeah. um so on myself i'm um you know a bit curvy so i have fitted this to my cup size mm -hmm. um so what i've done when i've divided for the sleeves <coughs> i've actually left more stitches on the front than at the back and you can see that this isn't sitting flat and it's pouching a little bit. That's going to um, accommodate my ample bosom. And then, so that actually means that I can't make that jump and wear. It would look a bit daft. Not it? unless you wear a padded bra yeah. underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so the other the advantage of that as well is that it doesn't gape open at the back. So there's not too many stitches on the back. Um, and it's just right on the front. And then once they've got past the bust point, I've then decreased the number of stitches. So that's why you've got this sort of pouchy shape here. Uh, yeah, so I'm nearly finished with the body because I'm going to get down to the to my waistline and then I'm going to add a split hem. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah, and then I just have to do the sleeves. <laughs> But I definitely feel like yeah, I've... It's growing now, uh, you're yeah, back in I the zone. I feel like I've really made good progress yeah. on it now. Of course, when you look at my knitting progress, like later on, it's like, oh, you probably think like, oh, I better should knit a bit more. Yeah, so yeah, I have yeah. been um, designing it for multiple sizes as I go along. So it will be fully size inclusive. Um, and yeah, the working title at the moment is the Showtime Jumper. Um, but I haven't decided if that's what it'll be in the end. I'll just show you the yarn I'm using. So I've got two colours of Chimera. Um, this one is Aurora Borealis and this one is Spice Market. And then I've got them paired with a Nen 4-ply uh, tonal colour and that's Kiefern Vald. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah, so... Um, that's working up really nicely. Obviously, I have to keep stopping just to admire the colours. Yeah. So yeah, so that's what I've been working on. Mm. So as is the tradition, or has been the tradition with our studio sessions, we always play some music at the end, don't we? Yeah. Normally, it's just the two of us. 
But... But here's one we prepared earlier. Um, mm. Earlier this week, we had some lovely visitors to the studio. Uh, Lisa Hayward mm -hmm. and Melanie Biggs. Um, if you are um, in the UK folk scene at all, you probably have heard of them. Um, um, yeah, we had a little... Just it was it was just like a chilled um, afternoon, afternoon, just music, get together yeah. and play music and hang out type thing. So this hasn't been rehearsed whatsoever. No. <laughs> Getting all the disclaimers in now, um, but yeah, a lovely uh, Swedish tune for you. Um, polska. It's a polska, and uh, yeah, hope Love you it. enjoy. See you next time. See you next time.